What is up everybody? It's your girl Jay Nell here coming to you with what would be my UFC 151 prediction video. But as you've probably heard by now, UFC 151 has been canceled. So I just want to talk about that real quick. Let's get into it first up. So, okay, Dan Henderson got hurt, had to pull out of the fight. Uh, Dana White looked around the 205 division to see if he could get a replacement. He couldn't. Chael, Sun Ch Chael Sonnen, after coming off a loss to Anderson Silva, volunteered. Dana White asked John Jones' camp, would you like to take the fight on eight days' notice? They declined. Okay? So, at the press conference on Thursday, Dana White gave a very emotional um, announcement, speech, whatever you'd like to call it. He hurled quite a few insults at Greg Jackson and John Jones. He um, even said the word fear, made it seem like John Jones might be fearful of Chael Sonnen. He called Greg Jackson a sports killer. The Jackson submission camp has a lot of named fighters uh, that fight for the UFC in that camp. Here's the thing. Whether you agree with Dana or John Jones or Greg Jackson or Chael Sonnen or whoever, I just don't think that Dana White handled this, sex, this situation correctly. Uh, Dana White himself has said many times that in his journey in making the UFC a national brand more popular, especially here in the Uf uh, USA, that he had to put a lot of work into be taken seriously as a businessman. He said that he was looked at as a thug, a bunch of Neanderthals just killing each other in the ring. He put a lot of work into showing that you don't have to be in a three-piece suit to conduct business well, you know what I mean? So getting on the microphone hurling all these insults, giving a very emotional speech, I don't think it does much for his credibility. I think it kind of un, un, uh, undoes. I don't think that's a word. <laughs> He's undoing some of that work he, he did all these years for his credibility to not be looked at as a thug. Now, for the record, I don't think that John Jones is scared of Chael Sonnen. Let me just say that off the bat. I don't think he is. I don't think that Chael Sonnen deserves a title shot. He just came off of a loss. He hasn't fought 205 in a while. And what, he's just going to jump over all these guys to get a shot? Machida declined. And I would too if I was Machida. If I knew I had a, a title shot in my future already, why would I be less prepared to fight this man who's beat me before? So I agree with Machida. Um, <laughs> here's the thing. Greg Jackson stated that it's not actually an eight-day training camp because of the weight loss, the weight cutting in the last week. It would be a three-day training camp. As John, since John Jones is the champ and has defeated his uh, championship a few times now, he doesn't get any kind of say, some kind of leeway to say, hey, this guy doesn't deserve a shot. I don't want to fight him. He doesn't get any leeway. Is it John Jones' fault that there was a one-name fight on this entire card, because this has happened before. Main event got canceled. They were able to move up the co-main event, which also had name stars in it, and they, they were able. The show went on. <laughs> they were able to continue. Is it John Jones' fault that he was the only name on the entire card? I don't think that's his fault. Um, Greg Jackson again has a lot of named fighters. When uh, when Dana White was asked how much do you think this has changed your relationship with John Jones, he said one word. He just said a lot. Like, I'm not like he's thinking on emotion. He's acting on emotion, which I'm not sure is smart as a businessman, you know. So that's my thing. Chael Sonnen's going to talk smack like he did. A man came off a loss, immediately gets on the mic and said he would take the next champion's up belt like taking candy from a child at Halloween. Okay, so Chael Sonnen's just doing what he's going to do. I'm just not sure he handled this in the right way as far as Dana White is concerned. Um... I think John Jones has the right to decline this fight on eight days' notice. I just think he has that right. He's been the champ for a while, okay? So uh, Greg Jackson, again, he's been a very credible trainer in, in this business for years. I'm, why start that kind of fight? And again, John Jones is one of your biggest stars. He has a contract with Nike. Is it smart to make one of your champions look weak by saying he's maybe fearful? You're making him look weak like a coward. Is that the right thing to do to promote your brand? as the UFC, you know? I just think he acted on emotion and just didn't quite think this thing through. So let me know what you think about what uh, Dana White has done, about uh, John Jones, do you think he's a coward? Comments of from Chael Sonnen, Greg Jackson. Let me know how you feel about the entire situation. And uh, ladies, make your own money, sign your own checks. Bye.